Before installing the wall plate, slide the double bolt retainers, including bolts, into the channels in the wall plate. Please refer to your roof plan to identify the correct quantity of bolt retainers required. Again, a single bolt retainer is required for both starter spars. Simply cut or snap a double bolt retainer in half to create the two required singles. Please note that the wall plate undercladding is pre-assembled and will be around 160mm shorter than the wall plate. Rest the wall plate on the rebates of the furring and position centrally. If the wall plate is in the correct position, it should overhang the furrings by 2mm at each end. Locate the starter spar and remove the protective film from the undercladding. Slot the starter spar onto both the single bolt retainer in the wall plate and in the eaves beam. Loosely thread on the locking nuts but do not tighten at this stage. Repeat the process for installing the starter spar on the opposite side of the roof. When permanently fixing the wall plate, you must drill through a central point of the aluminium with an 8mm masonry drill into sound masonry. Drill to a minimum depth of 10mm deeper than the fixing. Fix the wall plate through this hole with a fixing bolt. Do not fully tighten the bolt at this point. Allow enough slack for any rotation which may be required. At this stage, check the wall plate for level by use of a spirit level before permanently tightening the central fixing bolt. Fit the remaining fixing bolts at 600mm centres along the wall plate, ensuring that the first and last fixing bolts are positioned 100mm from the ends of the wall plate. The starter spar should now be secured to the fairings using screws positioned at 500mm centres along the starter spar. The first one being positioned 100 millimeters from the inside face of the eaves beam. Self adhesive flashing tape is included with your conservatory. The tape is provided as means of temporarily sealing the conservatory from water ingress. Although the flashing tape, if applied in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions, can function for many years, it is not a long-term substitute for traditional lead flashing. And we would recommend that you employ an experienced builder to carry out lead flashing works during the construction of your conservatory, or at some time in the near future.